Welcome to my tutorial lesson one, building a website for beginners installing in a local environment MAM, XAMPP, or WAMP. So here are a few things to know before we jump into building a website. First, we will get into learning local environments and installing MAMP, XAMPP, or WAMP. Basically, when you install the software, it creates a local web server environment. In later lessons, I will explain to you about taking our project live. We call it production environment, but that's on later lessons. For now, I'll be using a local environment to build all of our websites, and I'll be installing MAMP, which is my Apache, MySQL, and PHP in a Mac computer. So for the PC users, there are two software for the local environment. One is XAMPP, X-A-M-P-P, -P, which is X Operating System, Apache, MySQL, PHP, and Perl. Or WAMP, which is Windows, Apache, MySQL, and PHP for the Windows environment. Click here to see the WAMP installation on a Windows or PC environment or at the description box below this video. If you use Linux, click on this link or at the description box below this video. So let's get started with the installation for the map on the Apple or Mac environment. First, what you do is you go to www.map.info. When you're there, you can download the free map version. There is a map pro version which has a little bit more features, but you don't need the features uh, since we're going to be building a local environment and this is good enough for us. So you just go to this site and click on download and in download you just download the map right here. So it's downloading and you can save it to the desktop and you would install it on the desktop for right now. So I'm going to save it here. Where it's going to save at is it's going to save right on the desktop here. I'm going to wait till it's saved. So once you finish the download, it's going to be here where I saved it on the desktop right here. Once it's done downloading, you will double click on the map installation.pkg. It's a package file and it's going to open up map. Here, what you're going to do is you're going to just follow the instruction. You're going to click on continue and then it just follow the installation, hit continue, and agree to all the terms and conditions, and install the software. Uh, this will take about 870 megabytes of the space, and then just hit, go ahead and enter your password, your Mac password. Okay. Let it do its thing. Okay, so it's almost done. So once it's done, it's just successful, and we're gonna close it. And where your map folder will be installed is right here. You just go to your your hard drive and in the hard drive you will look for the applications folder and in here there is a map folder and in there it's there's two folder. There's one is a map and map pro. Map pro is a paid version which you don't need. So I'm going to use the map uh, that is a free version. So I double click on the map and in here, there's a few folders that you're going to be paying particular to. The first one is the HT Docs. All your application will be installed in your HT Docs right here. All the websites that we build will be here as well. So when you're running it the first time, you would double click on map.app. You double click here. And this is going to be your local environment. And when you need to start it, you have to hit start server. So in the control panel of the map, what you want to see is you want to see the preference. In the preference there are one, two, three, four tabs up here. The first one is you're going to make sure that you uncheck mark, check for Map Pro because you're not loading Map Pro and it doesn't need to check for Map Pro. And then if you want to, when starting Map, you want to start the server automatically so that the web server will be in your local environment. The other thing is the open web start page. That's the web start page when you run, launch and that looks something like this one here. This is the map web start page. Okay, That's about it and you go to the next one is the ports. 
just look at the port that it's been already been configured. You can set it to the web and MySQL ports to 80 and 3306 if you want. But I leave it here since um, you know the Mac they have an Apache running, and so it sometimes could be conflicting with the port that you're you're running with 80. So we just keep it at 888 for the Apache port, and the MySQL port is 8889. Okay, and you go to the PHP. There's PHP 5.5. I would use 5.5 for now. 5.62 is the newest one. Um, and then later on, you'll see newer versions uh, that MAP will be keep on adding to the PHP um, versions. So, um, you know, 5.5 is what I build mostly on. Uh, 5.6 is fairly new, just came out. I'm going to stick with the 5.5 since it's more stable. All my apps are running well with the 5.5. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the web server. In the web server, the uh, Apache web server is the Apache server. Uh, that's what I use. I'm going to stick with Apache since it's the most popular. And the last thing is the document root. So what is the document root? This is where you will store all your files and it's, you can run it from here. So that's it for installing a map on a Mac. And let's move on to the next lesson of this video.